And we are back. What is up, everyone? Welcome back to the stream. It's me. It's MD Tenebris. I'm back again to bring you some more mediocre Pokemon play. Below me on the screen, I have two links. The red link is to my YouTube channel. That is the MD Tenebris Plays Pokemon YouTube channel. If you like what you see today, feel free to go and check it out. There's a whole back catalog of videos. You can like, you can subscribe. If you click the bell, it will let you know when there are new videos available. The purple link is to my Twitch. That's where I am now. I'm here every Saturday at 2 p.m. and every Wednesday at 6.30. So that is uh, Eastern Times is PM. So if you want to come and catch me live and join the chat, discuss deck building or anything in general, feel free to come and hang out on uh, Twitch. There is also in the information box a link to a Discord channel. If you want to join the Discord channel, you can get me offline. You can talk to me about anything in general Pokemon related as well there. So those are the three. And uh, yeah, let's get into today. This is an interesting one. Um, I'm I'm very interested in in this in this card. I've got a couple of different deck builds for it so far. Um, I have another that I have not put together yet. That is kind of kind of bananas, but um, yeah. So we've got the Armorug EX right, 260 HP, not a ton. Got the ability Crimson Armor. This Pokemon has. Full HP, it takes 80 less damage from attacks from your opponent's Pokemon after applying weakness and resistance. So what this means is any move that does 30 damage or less does not affect this Pokemon at all. 30, uh, 80 damage or less does not affect this Pokemon, right? And anything over that, you have to subtract 80 from it. So if you have a Pokemon that's doing 120 damage, this means that that first hit is only going to be doing 40 damage, right? But you have to keep this at full HP. So it's kind of the, the sneaky thing. And then you have the Scorching Bazooka move. For two energy of any color, this attack does 40 more damage for each fire energy attached to this Pokemon. So it does a base of five, uh, 40 damage, and then it does 40 more damage for each fire energy that is attached to this Pokemon. So, how have we put the deck together? The main deck is the Charizard EX Armor Oak deck. So we have the Charizard EX in here because you have this Infernal Rain. Right, when you play this Pokemon from your hand to evolve one of your Pokemon during your turn, you may search your deck for up to three basic fire energy cards and attach them to your Pokemon in any way you like, right? And then you shuffle your deck. So basically, you can evolve your Charizard EX and you can load three onto uh, this Armorug, right? So because we're in a fire deck and all the decks we're doing today are fire type, this is going to do a base amount of 120 damage, right? Because you got 40 for each fire energy attached and then you have the 40 base damage so you're gonna be doing 120 damage as your base amount so with this guy you could put up to three on right so you would have uh, 160 damage already which is kind of which is kind of crazy just from evolving the Charizard we also have in here the burn brightly ability Charizard right each basic fire energy attached to your Pokemon provides two fire energy you can't apply more than one burn brightly ability at a time right so discard we're not gonna be interested in the flare bits um, because we're just here for the Burn Brightly. This is an optional one, right? We don't need this card to win the game, but it's nice to have it. It gives us a little bit more oomph, right? So we also have another optional one, another base Armorug in here, right? As often as you like during your turn, you may move a fire energy from one of your bench Pokemon to your active Pokemon, right? So this basically allows you, you know, if you're using the Charizard EX in the starting position, say, Right, and you use the you evolve it, you load it up with energies. Maybe you put one on the armor OG X, you use the Charizard EX, it gets a bunch of damage on it. You retreat that Pokemon. Um, no, because no, you switch it out, right? And then you would use the armor OG to put those energies onto the armor OG EX. So there's a couple different things I've got in here. We also have the RCS and RCS V Star. Um, this is very similar to um, kind of my base Charizard EX deck. Right, in terms of uh, trainer cards and Pokemon cards, we really did mess it up quite a bit though with uh, the additions of these cards, so that's cool. We have uh, a couple great balls, a couple nest balls in here. We got a pal pad in here. Um, the pal pad is mainly in here because of the other Armor Rogue deck that I did, and I'll go through that in a second. Um, but yeah, so we got some rare candy for the Charizard, we got the Magnum uh, Basement, uh, ba Magma Basin. To help us deal with the um, path to the peak that people are going to be throwing out. 
also helps us put energy onto our Pokemon, which we can then accelerate with the base armor rogue, right? Uh, we got the Raihan in here. We got so we got a bunch of cards in here that are specifically here to help us get energies onto our Pokemon. And then we have the Cook in here. The Cook is really uh, to help us keep that 80, right? Keep the 80 damage wall as long as we can. So if we find the Cook, that will hopefully help us do that. So. That is the Armor Rogue EX Charizard EX deck. Um, and yes, right. So now I want to go over this Armor Rogue EX deck. This has been harder to work with. Um, I will say that this one, Armor Rogue, is the primary attacker. You're using the Scorching Bazooka, of course, to do your damage. Um, and you have the Slowbro, right? Um, if you're on Twitch, you'll understand. If you saw my last stream, what I'm talking about, you can use the Slowbro as a, a damage sponge, right? So you throw the Slowbro out, strange behavior, as often as you like during your turn. You may move one damage counter from one of your other Pokemon to this Pokemon, right? So you can put him on the bench. You can attach a luxurious cape, right? If the Pokemon this card is attached to doesn't have a rule box, it gets 100 HP, and it is knocked out by damage from your opponent's Pokemon, that player takes an extra price card, right? So you turn it into basically kind of like a weak a V Pokemon, I guess, basically. Um, so you put the luxurious cape on the Slowbro, it now has 200 HP, right? So you can keep taking damage off of your Armorogi X up to 200 HP onto your Slowbro Sponge, and you keep this 80 uh, damage armor wall. So, like, it hasn't been as effective as the Charizard EX deck because the deck's set up in this meta so quickly. This one takes a little bit of time. We are using the Bibberol Draw Engine in this with the Industrious Incisors. Once during your turn, you may draw cards until you have five cards in your hand. Right, so... We got Earthen Vessel in here. We got uh, some switching. We got Great Ball, Nest Ball. We got Ultra Ball in here. Magma Basins. We got Avery in here, um, and we have two Cheryl. This is key, right? Because heal all damage from each of your evolution Pokemon. If you do discard all energy from the Pokemon that were healed in this way. So the problem is that would get rid of all of your armor rogue um, damage with Scorching Bazooka. So, um, yeah, it's a very interesting kind of way it works. Um, you would use the Cheryl to heal the damage from the Slowbro. Um... And you would leave like a Sharkadet on your bench unevolved and you'd be loading that up with energies. It's a little tricky. It's a little tricky, this deck. Um, we have the Mela in here. This is a new card. I haven't played with this a lot. You can basically, if you have a Pokemon that gets knocked out, attach a basic fire energy card from your discard pile to one of your Pokemon. If you do draw cards until you have six cards in your hand, right? So it allows you to draw a little bit with the Bibaro. We're going to be hopefully keeping a smaller hand. Um, and we do also have the Defiance Vest in here. So this means... Uh, if you have more prize cards than your opponent, the Pokemon, this card attached to takes 40 less damage from attacks. So we're basically trying to beef up the Armor Rogue passive from 80 to 120, right? And pairing these two together will hopefully allow us to uh, do that. I did have another in here, but I got rid of it for um, reasons. I think I threw a couple of Ionos in here to help me. Um, and the Palpad obviously is here to help us get access to that Cheryl once we've used it to uh, continue to uh, do the slow bro sponge. Um, that being said, um, Shiza, I might have to, might have to take something out. I might have to take a luxurious cape out to be honest. Um, hmm. I can't think of it right now. So, anyways, my bad. Um, so, we are going to be taking the Armor Rogue Charizard EX deck out for spin. Um, and uh, let's get into it, game one. Okay, so this game we're going up against Kid Boo 999. I like it. All right, Charcadet coming in. Coming in strong. We got the Fiery Fighting Spirit here as well. So, search your deck for a. Okay. Just the one mulligan. Search your deck for a basic fire energy attached to this Pokemon in the shelf of your deck. So it helps you stack itself slightly. In the same way the Charmander kind of helps you deal with uh, stadiums slightly. Um, if you got to play them because they get knocked out so quick. Interesting. Gimme Ghoul. Golden Go EX. Mewtwo V-Star deck. 
That's an interesting. And both of those Pokemon discard energies. Like, uh. Oof. That's a little scary. I hope they do not have any water energies in this deck because, uh, that would be pretty painful for me. U2V coming out. We do have a Nest Ball and a Great Ball ourselves, which is a very nice start. Um, we do not have any Battle VIP Pass in this deck. So, we're going to use the Nest Ball to get... What do I want to get? Maybe I use the Great Ball first. Because if we find Arceus V-Star with the Great Ball, then I would use uh, the Nest Ball to go and get Arceus V. Using the Fog Crystal to go and get a basic Psychic Pokemon would be my guess. He's got the Steel Energy on this dude. Um, I probably need to get, yeah, I need a, a basic Pokemon, but I'll probably grab, uh, if I can find something good with the Great Ball, I can synergize it with the Nest Ball. Because this guy's probably going to get knocked out, let's be real. Okay, what do we get? Another Magma Basin, not great. So, we just get the Charcadets. So we're going to put that, so I guess we're going to go for a, a uh, uh, do we still go for the RCs V? Um, maybe, yeah, because we don't have anything. And we'll use the Candela. We'll see if we can find something good here. We got an Armor OGX. I like that. That's a good, that's a nice pickup. Heads, okay. Um, so he's got four cards in his hand. He's going to be able to discard one, pick up two. He just needs, yeah, two to get me if he's got the Golden Go EX. So I might, um, put the damage put the energy onto the shark of death instead we're gonna wait and see what happens this path uh this this deck should not be playing path to the peak because both the golden go ex um has an ability and the radiant greninja has an ability that seemed pretty critical so um we're gonna see i'm not sure why they're playing mewtwo v and the gimme go here um mewtwo v star even you're still discarding like a ton of energy um, and it's a different kind of energy. I think you actually specifically have to discard psychic energy for that move to be impactful. So, flipping until tails, and he gets one heads, he gets one tails. Thank you. Thank you, Pokemon. My Pokemon gods. All right. So, um, we survived. I could play him. I can't retreat. Um, and I can't attack. He's got damage on him, so I'm gonna play him under here. I'm gonna keep stacking, stacking energies on my, on my armor over here. We're gonna end the turn. Bang. Hope they don't have a boss's orders. Um, and we're gonna see. Maybe we come across a switch. Maybe we find RC's V Star. Who knows? You see, but now if we do get the Charizard EX into play, we'll get to put another three energy on this guy. We've already got five. 5 times 40 is 20. So we're going to have 240 damage uh, if we got that to happen. You see, this is why, like, it's a slow stack. So this is why I feel like it's kind of like, it would be, a, it's a better card for, like, just being in the side. You're probably not going to want to stack multiple armor rogues up to, like, you know, 5, 6 energies a piece. Um... And that's kind of why the other deck struggles a little bit, because it doesn't have the same energy accelerator, but it also... Oh, they're getting a bunch of heads. Okay, so they're clearing me out. Goodbye. Dang. There you go, Gimme Ghoul. So we're going to take him out. They don't have another energy in play, which is fine for us. Um, we're going to attach another energy. There we go. Um, and we're just going to hit 160, take this guy out. And remember, because of the ability that we have, this Crimson Armor, nothing under 80 damage is actually going to touch us, um, which is quite nice. Kind of concerned I'm not finding any more Pokemon. Um, so, yeah, if they want to one-shot KO us, they have to do 340 damage, um, which is quite a, the number of energy to have to discard. Um, and a Lunatone. What the fuck are they doing here? This does not make any sense. Um, this deck seems like it's trying to do way too much. Um, I really don't know what they're doing here. I mean, that's nice. They grabbed two energies back, right? Yeah. Do they have the Golden Go? Can he hit me? That's the question. 
can Kid Boo hit me? I don't even know. Fantastic, he cannot. Does not have the golden go yet. We like to see that. We got a boss's orders here. Um, what am I most scared of? What am I doing now? 200 damage? So I'm not even killing anyone yet. So we'll go like this. And then we'll just go around whoever they use next. Um, because they're gonna they're gonna throw someone out there to soak up the um gonna throw someone out to soak up the the damage. There you go. So we're just gonna move this little tone out of the way. Oh, it's another gimme ghoul. Um, I think I'm gonna go for the Mewtwo V. Um, but we'll see. They have a big hand. They could probably one-shot me by now. I think they probably have five or six energies in there. That's a little scary. They're putting one onto the Lunatone, though. Interesting. Okay. Honestly, I might, I might boss his orders in for the Gimme Ghoul. Um... Hmm. Yeah, that's a little scary. Oh, a great ball. Fuck yes. Please, Charmander. Charmander, no. Oh, that's no fun, dude. Um, Go for the Charizard. See if we can get this Burn Bright Charizard into play. Another energy. Um... Did we boss his orders in for the Gimme Ghoul now? So I'm guessing they're using the Lunatone for draw. Um, that's fine. I think we are going to go for the Gimme Ghoul. Why not? I feel like I'm stumbling into some trap here or something. Is this is this just me or this is fucking... Oh, we found a switch. Um, like, why haven't they evolved the Mewtwo V-Star? Have they seriously not found either of the Mewtwo V-Stars? They don't have any Pokemon to help them get the Mewtwo V-Star. So this guy can only put one Lunatone. One energy. I just don't understand what the fuck they're doing. Like, they could maybe get the 90 on. Oh, it's 120. Which is annoying. Oh, 190 HP. So they're really only going to do 40 damage because of the uh, Crimson Armor. It's going to protect us. Got that Crimson Armor. Ooh. Okay. That's an old fucking card, yo. Look at that. That's an old energy retrieval. My god. Look at that. 2016. That's, that's stylish. I like that. This is a fashionable motherfucker. This luxurious cape also means that I, uh, when I knock out this Lunatone, I get two prize cards for it. So that's fine. We're fine with that. Oh, and they found the Mewtwo V-Star. Discard him three energy from your Pokemon. This is 90 damage. Yeah, you do have to have the energy on the Pokemon. 120 damage to each of your opponent's Pokemon V. So that's useless. Oh, no. We got the RC screen. Never mind. Never mind. Okay. So what are we hoping for here? I'm hoping for Charmander, to be honest. Um, he doesn't know that I got the switch. I thought it was a little silly that I had the switch, but now I have the switch in my hand, so I can just fucking swing out. Ba 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 ba. Oh, and a Jacques. So we are gonna switch back into play, um, and we're just gonna take this dude out. I'm not even gonna bother putting energy on anything or anything or anything. Yes, we're gonna hit. And we get two prize cards. This guy, what are you doing? That was a silly decision. Look at that. I'm down to one now. Jacques and Clavel. So we can use the Clavel next turn to grab ourselves a Charmander. Fuck yes! And then we'll go and we'll grab ourselves the Charcadet. Uh, and we'll get the Burn Brightly Charizard into play. And we will have... This will count for 10. 10 energies. And that would be 400 damage. We'll get 440 damage on this fucker. And that would be beautiful. But it would take two turns. But he's big. He's a big guy. This guy's playing to win. He's playing the Mewtwo V-Star here. Because he's like, I don't want him to take that last price card. So, I'm concerned something sneaky's up the sleeve here. A little concerned. So, that would not be, that would not be fun. 
Lunatone is back. <laughs> It's got an energy on it, oh boy. And they didn't even do any damage to the armor rogue, and they're fucking swapping me in again. So they're gonna kill off my RCSV. And that's it though. They're just gonna they're just gonna kill off my RCSV. I don't have another switch. Like he's he's dead. I'm not saving this fucker. <laughs> I could use the Jacques to grab the RCSV star to uh, grab a switch and switch him out, but I mean like I got the Clavo. I'll just do Clavo for the Charmander. Um, we'll use the Jacques next turn. We'll grab two Charmanders. We'll do Charizard EX and Charizard for Brightly. Um, and Charizard EX does double damage to Mewtwo V-Star because he is a psychic type Pokemon. He's weak to dark there, so it's perfect. Fuck, I always forget Charizard EX is dark. It's so crazy when I'm playing. This is why when I play, when I play in my Charizard EX deck that I take on the rank ladder, I play with the gold Charizard EX cards because it, I think it convinces people that it's still a fire Pokemon up until the attack. Um, okay, so we're going to go Clavel here. And we're going to go Charmander, Charmander, Truckadette. Thank you. Ba ba ba. Onto the bench. One, two. Three. Okay, and no rare candy. Uh, do we have any energy in here? We do not. Okay. Um. Um. Let's put an energy on this RCS V just in case we get the opportunity to retreat. Um. Palpad. What would I want? Uh, I guess I could do Palpad. Why the fuck not? Um. We'll do boss's orders, and I'll do the Candela. Fuck yeah. Boom, boom. Okay, we're gonna end the turn. Congratulations, Kid Boo. You've successfully stalled out. I uh, don't think anything is coming, but I'm still concerned a little bit. So they do have two Saw Rock in play. So they can now be attaching two Psychic Energies per turn. Um, but they can't, they have to switch the Mewtwo V Star out. They might be just protecting it on the bench. We did just put the boss's orders back. I do only need one one hit once i get this charizard ex into play like i'm done so they either have to kill this rcsv or i'm just going to retreat it next turn that's how this is going to go down and i'm going to win the game next turn we're going to do this have not shown off the crimson armor yet i'm a little disappointed that that did not get to be shown off um but that's okay let's go kid boo Look at this bench. What do you think you're doing? What do you think you're doing, my dude? Wow. The whole deck. Look at that. He's up to 20 again. That's crazy. Yeah. I was like, shit, he's running out of time. He's only got like 12 cards left. All right. Now you're fucked. Okay. Fire energy. We're going to retreat. Well, I'm going to wait. I'm going to go Jacques first. Oh, okay. Um, I'm gonna go like that, I think. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Armor Rogue. I'm gonna go V Star here. And I'm actually gonna go for the Switch instead, because I'm a cheeky fuck. I'm a cheap date. Look at this. We go for the Switch, and we'll go for the Candy Show. Why not? Bang. Okay. Now we're gonna do the switch. I should have gone for the other armor rogue. That'd be pretty cool. Um, and we're just gonna go fucking 440 damage, baby. Look at that. Bang. So that's kind of that's kind of what the hope is for this this card is. You just use him as like a massive smack in the face. Harmony FB. All right, calling heads. Let's go. Calling heads against Harmony FB. We got tails. Fuck. Ah. All right. We don't get it. Your opponent won the coin flip and is deciding who goes first. Uh, probably them. But we'll see. We either get picked to go first before. Yeah, the opponent's going first. Ah. Uh, don't even have a battle VIP pass to benefit from this. Anyways. Okay, so we got Charmander start and we got an RCS V start. Mm. We'll go, we'll go Charmander. We'll go RC Speed. 
play like the cards are gonna come. Because I was playing last time like they weren't gonna come, and I made the wrong choice every time. So maybe if I just play like I'm expecting the cards to come, we'll be fine. So it looks like Harmony FB is gonna be playing a very standard Roaring Mooney X deck from the looks of the Morpeko. And there's the Roaring Moon card itself. We're gonna see. I'm really not the biggest fan of this card. Um, it's it's pretty it's pretty uh, it's 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 hit or miss. When it gets up and running, it can be dangerous. But I I don't see it get up and running a lot. Um, so we'll see. We'll see. What do we get? A nest ball. Um, let's go for the check. Why the fuck not? Uh, and then we'll go Candela. We got a Jacques. It doesn't matter. You don't have to flip the coin. There's nothing in there. Uh, we're going to attach an energy here. Yes, we are. Yes, we are. Yes, we are. Because... Um... Because... We have the Jack. So we can go and grab the RCSV star next turn. We can evolve our RCSV. We can grab ourselves with the RCSV, a Charizard EX, and Rare Candy, and evolve the Charmander. I really fucking hope, no, they have to attach one to different Pokemon. They can't attach two to one. Um, and they did not attach one to more Peko, which is great news for us. That is fantastic. They might have a switch. They might take us out. Fuck. I hope they don't have a switch. I hope they wait for next time. No! How? Oh, if it's got no energy attached, it's got no retreat cost. Okay, fuck me. Damn, dude, that really blows. Alright, so we're gonna sacrifice the Sharky Dead. Ah, uh, that really sucks. Okay. Alright, so we're gonna go Jacques here. Arceus V-Star. And Charizard EX. That is the plan. I mean, uh, could I go armor roll? No, because he can go frenzy gouging. Um, and that's a waste. It's not like it matters though. But no, because I would use the Charizard EX and the Charmander that I would get. How would I get it? Don't have a nest ball. Don't have anything that I can go and grab a Charmander with. Um, oh, the RCS V Star. Fuck. Okay, perfect. So we'll grab the Charmander and the uh, rare candy. Um,. Actually, we're gonna go. No, not yet. Uh, we'll go Starbirth here. Um, and we're gonna go. Oh, we already played Jacques. Fuck, I could have gone um, Raihan. That would have been sweet. Um, rare candy, and I did not see a Charmander. There it is. Okay, so we're gonna go rare candy and Charmander. I'm going to put the Charmander onto the bench. And we are going to um, do, 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 end the turn. Hope they do not have a boss's orders. That would be annoying if they have a boss's orders. Because um, part of this deck's weakness is it uses the Charizard EX. You either need time or you use the Charizard EX to load up your armor rogue. So if I can't get the Charizard EX into play... Even if I go and get the armor rogue, like the Chark, it, it only has one or two energies on it. We're only doing 120 damage at that point. I can't one hit the Roaring Moon, so that's the struggle. They got some nice cards to start the game, and they um, are rolling. They got the boss's orders. Oh, so they're going for the Frenzied Gouging. Interesting, because the RC's V-Star has actually served its purpose now. Like, technically, I could be attacking with it, but, like, I I won't be. So, they are using the Frenzied Gouging. Incredible. Incredible. So, they're actually setting it up so they get the two from here. And then they're going to kill my Charizard EX with this guy. With the Frenzied Gouging. Um, that's crazy. Hmm. Okay, so we are going to go Rare Candy. I'm almost like, was that the wrong move? Because I can load this guy up with energies. Yes, I would like to use it for the right. One, two, three. Um, because I can go one, two, three. 
right? And then I can go basic energy here. And then I can go switch. And then I can go magma basin. Do I not have energies in my discard pile? I have an energy in my discard pile. Oh, it's not a dark Pokemon. Oh, dang. Okay, fuck. Well, that's that's upsetting, because now he can use the fucking move for more. Um... What's in here? I guess I guess we could swap like that. Yeah, I guess. Done. Okay. Um, and I'm gonna use the knuckle punch. I'm gonna take this guy out with uh just for 50, 50 damage. Take out this Roaring Moon EX. So they have to have another boss's orders if they want to get at the Charizard EX now, which is kind of nice. Choose two press cards. Is one an energy? No. But we got a Charmander, so we'll play the Charmander on the bench. Interesting. So they. Have, opted to go for the more Pekko instead in the hopes that they're gonna get the first shot at the Charizard EX hmm. Hmm. and we're still doing 50 damage okay so they got a cross switcher so they're gonna swing me in anyways cool um Mm -hmm. He's gonna use the frenzy gouging. He's gonna take me out And that's game That is game cuz uh, the shark and debt is not gonna unless I unless I get the shark if I can find the um, Armor rogue No armor rogue in fact, he doesn't have any energy attached so we could be fine. I'm gonna attach a uh, energy with the magnet Um, and we're gonna hit for uh, 50 and take out this Roaring Mooney X. I'm not seeing any energy right now, so he can't actually kill the Charcadet at this point in time. Could we find an Armorogi X here? No. But we got a worker, so we can actually get rid of the Magma Basin. Um, mm hmm. Okay, more Pekko comes forward again. And they just... Oh, no. I didn't realize it took them back from the discard pile. That's interesting. Okay, so Ultra Ball. What are they going to find? That's the question here. What are they going to find? Squawkabilly EX. I thought you could only use that ability on your first turn. Oh, the Motivate. You can use the Motivate to help uh, energize your deck once during your turn. Yeah. So what they wanted to do, I think, was play the Squawk Bailey EX and put the energy on it and um, use Motivate and do 20 damage and put two energy on the Roaring Moon and have it ready for next turn. That's what I think they wanted. Now, we're kind of in an interesting spot because we have the boss's order. So if we did come into the Armor Rogue EX... Um, or the Charizard EX for that matter. Um, we would be able to potentially do something about it. Oh shit, Dark Patch coming out. This is getting scary now. Um, I can stall out by moving the other Roaring Moon into play though, which is nice. Um, yeah, because these guys have low retreat costs. Hmm. Okay. Okay. Um, so we go Armorogi X now. Um, and how much damage is he doing? 160. He's doing 160. We're gonna go Charmeleon here. Um, I kind of want to play Worker. Um, to see if I can find another energy, but then I don't have the boss's orders. Oh, wait, 160. Oh, perfect. So we're just gonna boss this. Thank you for playing this Squawkabilly EX onto your bench. Right before I go. Thank you. Oh, we got the fucking win! <laughs> Coming out from behind. Sneak attack. Taken down, baby. Not today. Not today. Four wins on the day. Bang. Okay. What do we got here? Chim Pokemon. Chim Pokemon. We got Tails, so we lose the coin flip again. Jeez, man. How many coin flips have we lost today? 
Not great. Not great. Game is out to get me today. Oh, almost knocked my dude off. <sighs> it's a mulligan. Okay. Good to know. That's a shame. All right. So how many mulligans are we gonna take? That's the question though. Two, three mulligans. Are you fucking kidding me right now, dude? Eee, should we start with two bidoofs? Come on. And a great ball, I guess. And a, and a, and a great ball, I guess. The Jacques is nice. I think if it's their turn first, it's the, their turn first. So I can't evolve them next turn, actually, unfortunately. So they're going to get the strike first with the Growlithe. But I can have two uh, Bibberels in place soon, is the hope. Um, oh, no, because he's going to take it out with the Fire Claws next turn. Mm, he can't go. Okay. Never mind. So this is looking like an Arcanine EX, potentially a uh, Charizard EX as well deck. Interesting. Go and grab the Entei. And you can't retreat this guy just yet. Maybe they've got a switch. Switch him out, Fleetfoot. Guess not. Okay. Okay. All right, we got a Nest Ball. Thank you. Fuck a dog. Chuck a dead on the bench. All right, we're gonna play the great ball here. Slow bro or Charky Dead? Uh, no need for the slow bro right now. We do not have a slow poke. We'll go Charky Dead. We'll go basic energy onto a Charky Dead here. And we're just gonna go, uh, we're gonna end the turn. I don't wanna get Ionode or something and lose my Jacques. Um, prefer to have it later on the game. Hey. <sighs> Um, and even if they get the Arcanine EX, they are not going to be um, killing me because it only does, I think it only does 50 damage base with that first, maybe it's only 30. With that first move of theirs. Um, so we'll see. Fire claws. All right, so they drew some cards. They put two cards somewhere else. I believe it's the four cards thing, right? Yeah, look at the top four. Put two of them in your hand, two on the bottom of your deck. And shuffle your deck. Interesting card. Interesting card. It's almost kind of like a, like a new Carl Ross's experiment. I might have to look into using that card. Because you get to look at four of them, and you get to take the two that you want, which is kind of dope. Um... And then they're put on the bottom of your deck, and then the deck is shuffled, so they're not even... Oh, no, shuffle the other cards and put them on the bottom. Okay, boss's orders. Can't use it right now. We're going to go Jacques here. Bibarel, Bibarel. In fact, that's kind of dumb. We should go Bibarel, Armor Rogue. We go Bibarel here. We go Armor Rogue here. We go Industrious Incisors. What do we get? Luxurious Cape. We do not want to be playing that anytime soon. So I guess the idea would be sacrifice the bit of um, and give us time to stack up this armor rogue. Um, the Growlithe will be hitting for 250 damage, which will be doing um, 130 damage to us the first time. But we have the Cheryl, you know? So that's kind of the nice thing. So he's going to use Raging Claws, would be my guess, on the bit of, Or maybe he's going to just hit the bit of with the full force, with the Bright Flames. Um, we will see. We will see what happens. Oh, Tails, 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 Tails. Fuck! Now we can get Bibberol. Come on, man. All right. Fine. Maybe he's going for the Charizard. Who knows? Why would you go for the Bibbro when you have six cards in your hand? Seven cards. Go for the Bibbro. Should have guessed. Growlithe onto the bench. Scary stuff. Alright, so Bright Flames, he's gonna discard two. He's gonna take out the Bidoof. 
to accelerate things, I believe. I can play the Raihan. I can go and grab an energy. Do I have any energy in the discard pile? No, I don't. Um, so we'll go like this. Uh, we go Nest Ball. Slowpoke, I guess. Um, and we didn't get any fucking, um... Hmm. No, it's too early to use Clara. Um, I guess we could boss's orders, um, to stall out for a little bit. Boss's orders into this guy. Um, Luxurious Cape on the Slowpoke. And then we Bibarel. Bibarel, Bibarel, Bibarel. We got Netball here. We go another Armor Rogue. Attach another Energy here. Um, and we could actually take this Growlithe out. Um, and get a prize card. Rather than leave it to stall. And then he would come in and do the 250 and it would only do 130. We'd still only be doing 120, though. Can't guarantee. He could have a switch. I'm just gonna go for it. It's whatever. It's whatever, dude. And we'll see what we get here. So it's a prize card. It's a fire energy. Not bad. So, I mean, I can at least guarantee that I'm gonna be doing 160 next turn. Which is not great, considering he's doing... Well, it's more than him. He's got more HP. And the second one he hits is gonna be doing 250. She's gonna hit me, I'm gonna do the 160, and then he's gonna do the 250 and kill me. Which is not good. That's not good at all. Um. Ooh, he's playing the melee. He's already got six cards in his hand, though, so that sucks for him. Hmm. Oh, hang on. No, the first time he's gonna do 130. And then the second time, he's only going to have two energy on, and he'll be able to do 130 plus 30, so he'll be able to do 160. That's still enough. That's still, that'll still two-shot me. Fuck. Um, okay. So the question is, do I attach the energy to the shark and dead or not? And I did my math wrong. I did my math wrong. Um, I guess we could Cheryl now. Um, you know, if we Cheryl now and we just attach an energy, then he's doing 30 damage next turn. Um, fuck, what do I do? But if I Iono this turn, that's not bad. I think we go Iono. Um,. Okay, what do we get back? We got the Cheryl back. I like it. I like it a lot. Um, hmm, but it doesn't matter. Um, Unless I sacrifice a shark of that and use the Cheryl and attach an energy, but then I lose that energy as well. Um, I kind of prefer that option. Stacking the, uh... Stacking the, the fire energies. <coughs> this is not gonna go well, because I can't even Cheryl this turn now, because I already did that thing, so I'm just fucking... Messing around. This is not gonna be good. I did get a boss's orders, which is nice. Chi Yu. Interesting. Hmm. That's a lot of Pokemon. Okay, so, I mean, I guess the idea would be... We're up to, what, 160 now? So I guess maybe the idea would be put another energy on him. Um, sacrifice the Charcadet and then hit the Chi Yu. Boss's orders in the Chi Yu and kill the Chi Yu with the uh, with the Armor Rogue and get two more prize cards. 
that might be that might be what the idea is here but we're gonna see we do have a professor's research as well um I think we just keep stacking this guy and we go fuck it dude we got the slow bro there we go that's pretty dope Okay, and we got a Mela as well, so we are gonna go. One. Okay, done, and that is like the whole, that's the whole point of that card, right, it's just a damage spawn, so you can get that damage off of your Armorogi X, so that the Crimson Armor does do full force, and we now have 120 damage protection on that first hit, wherever it may come from, now I guess their idea would be to use keep using the Raging Claws on the Sharkadet and stack it up so that you have enough energy to use Bright Flame twice in a row. Um, that's, that's not good for us. So we gotta figure out... I mean, I wish that they would just use the Bright Flame on the Charcadet to accelerate the game a little. That would be kind of sneaky. We do have a Professor's Research. We do have a Candela. I don't think we have any energy in the discard pile still. Do we? Do we? We do. So we could use a Candela. Attach an energy to the armor. Row. We could get two on next turn. Actually, that would be kind of nice. Um... No! Oh, clever, 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 clever. Holds on to the bright flames. Um. Hmm. Hmm. I guess I play the armor rope forward here. Um. Damage are we doing? Oh! Oh! Ho, 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 ho. Okay! So we're doing 280 damage already with just the six energies. So we get the two prize cards here. And we are a tank. Like, we are going to absorb the first 120 damage that anyone tries to put on us. Um, pretty nice. Pretty, pretty nice here. Um,. Three energies in the hand. We got one in the discard pile. So we could we could attach another energy to the armor rogue, who is one shotting anyone on their team night right now. Like we are in a very good spot. We are in a very very good spot. Um, and then we will um, ba -ba 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 -ba. I guess professor's research out of this hand and see if we can find another slow bro. Um, hmm. We're gonna see what they're doing here. Went for the boss's orders, so they're planning some more sneaky stuff. Got to be careful about this slow pro. Uh, maybe don't attach a luxurious cape to it again. Um, but we'll see. We'll see. Got a lot of cards in the hand. We are going to one-shot this Entei. I think I'm going to start putting energies on another Sharkadet at this point. Because why not, you know? Um, they're not making me discard any of these energies. There's no point in, in um, not loading up another Sharkadet to do damage that will be the plan come on chim poker man let's go let's go what are you doing okay fleet footed he's not used fleet footed yet i'm just gonna fucking take a drink fuck this guy hasn't used a supporter either 
That's a surprise. So they're going to be doing... Who? 120. So they would have done 240? 20, 40, 60, 80, 100. 20, 40, 60, 80. 200. What? How did they do? Oh, because I have more prize cards. Or I don't have less prize cards, basically. Um, we're going to go like that. Uh, yeah, let's do the pal pad here. Um, I think a Cheryl and, uh, and a Melly. I think a Cheryl and a Melly. Be good. And, uh, we'll go Candela here, see if we can find... Ooh. Ooh, 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 ooh. Energy onto there. Um, we'll go Ultra Ball here. We'll go... I think we'll go Clavel here. Basic energy. Grab another armor robe. There we go. Oh, I could have gone for the fucking slow bro and removed all the fucking damage counters from him. Um, hmm. Industries and scissors. See what we get. Okay. All right. So. Dang, I didn't get to use the chest pad or whatever they are, the knee pads or, or fuck them, the, the shit things. The chest plate? What is that? Come here. Let me see what that is. Defiance vest. It's a vest. Okay. My bad. I apologize. Oh, so, six energies, and you're doing 280 damage. That's pretty nice. Which means if you have the Burn Brightly Charizard in your deck, and you have just three energies on, you're doing 280 damage, which is pretty cool. Pretty cool. All right, we could use the Cheryl. Why would I? 280, there we go. End, end of the game. Bang! Wow, okay, we pulled in. Did we win the last game? Wait, what was the last game? Okay, and that is gonna be it from me today. I hope everyone that came along for the stream had a good time. I had a pretty good time. This uh, this deck is actually pretty fun. I'm really impressed with this card. Um, the Crimson Armor is really cool. Scorching Bazooka surprisingly strong when you get it working. Um, I did really like the first deck with the Charizard EX. Um, the Slowbro deck was tougher. Um, but if you have a better version of that, I would love to see it. So let me know in the comments if you have any suggestions that would improve either of those decks. Um, yeah, so below me on the screen, I have two links. There is a red link that is to my YouTube channel. That is the MD Tenebris Plays Pokemon YouTube channel. Feel free to check out the whole back catalog if you like what you saw today. It's all similar to this. Um, and you can like, you can subscribe. If you click the bell, it will let you know when there are new videos up and available. Um, the purple link is to my Twitch. That's where I am now. I'm here every Saturday at 2 p.m. and every Wednesday at 6.30. So if you are free... At either of those times, that's p.m. Eastern time. Feel free to stop by and say hi. Join the chat. Comment on the decks. You know, do as you do. There is also in the information box a link to a Discord channel. If you want to get me offline, discuss any of the things that you've seen on the stream. You know, discuss anything else in general. Um, feel free to do it there. Um, in the Discord, everyone's welcome. Um, yeah. And uh, so, I would like to thank everyone that came along for the stream today. And uh, you, the viewer at home, I'd like to thank you. If you're watching this on YouTube, I appreciate it. Thank you for the support. Feel free to like and leave a comment. Let me know. Uh, if there's any Pokemon cards you'd like to see in a deck, because I'm running out of the EX cards for the Paradox Rift set. I know there's a new set coming out, but this will allow me to branch out into more interesting single prize card decks, which I kind of prefer. So we will uh, we'll see. Um, and yeah, I hope wherever you are in the world, you have a wonderful rest of your evening. I hope you have a fantastic night's sleep. I hope you get a very good, restful night's sleep tonight. And I hope you wake up tomorrow. And I hope you are full of energy and you are pumped to take on the world and the rest of your week. All right? So if you're going to come by Saturday at 2 p.m., I'll see you then. Otherwise, 
Until later, this is MD Tenebris. I'm signing out. So peace out. Adios. Take it easy.